Apocalypse Gaming. Hey there my friends, hope everyone's alright. Um, so, I'm going to be doing something different in today's video. As you know, I've been doing my Build It But Don't Paint It Terrain series because I just want all our terrain built. Well, for this video, we're going to be doing a wee review because we've managed to lay our hands on a new compressor just released from Sparmax. It's part of the RISM range and it's the new Viz um, compressor. So, it's a slightly different compressor again from what they've got. I've already on the channel we got a review of the Wii Mini Arism Mini as we see um, so that's back when I'll put a link where I just showed you the compressor but this one we're going to be looking after and looking at this one so rather than doing the full unboxing I've already taken it out of the box but it came well packaged nice cardboard held everything in place nothing was going to move around in your box but you don't actually need to see me take it out so this is the baby here Let's see if we can get the light a wee bit better. There we go. This is the baby here. It comes with its hose, comes with the power packs, and it also comes with a silver bullet plus. Now this is a bit different from the previous silver bullet. Um, new addition to the range. And we'll do a proper review on that. But the big difference is, is it comes with a Mac valve, which wasn't on the original one, which I did promise to do a review of. I never get round to it, um, or rather I filmed it and it wasn't good enough so it never get edited. Um, so we'll get a good review done of this one and I'll show you the differences between the two, I'll give you some size comparisons etc. So without further ado, let's get everything set up and um, we'll see the compressor in action and we can get a feel for how it performs. Back shortly. So first thing I want to explore and talk about is our airbrush holder here. Because um, your airbrush holder is more than just an airbrush holder on this model. We have our traditional on-off switch here at the back. As you can hear, the compressor's now running. But this is also what Sparmax are classifying as their smart stop. Put your airbrush, let me get the hose out of the way, airbrush on the smart stop, your airbrush holder, and it puts the compressor into pause mode. Take it off, you're out of pause. Now the idea behind this is to try and equalise the pressure, to give you that equal pressure that a tank would give you, which a traditional tankless model doesn't give. Um, we'll find out how that is when we're, we're using it. Um, assuming when we're going to use it we'll find we don't have as much of a sputter but we'll, we'll discover that as we put it into play because I'm exploring this and finding out about it as you are but I do like this feature because on, off or pause and on now something though we, I do also want to explore about this is just put it into complete off the actual airbrush holder, the smart stop if you listen you can hear the click Now this is supposed to be put in here permanently, it comes with a little bit of white tape, peel the tape back, it's double sided, stick it in and it's locked in place. Now my worry with this is, the compressor itself, the Viz is supposed to be portable, now if it's portable that I think is going to risk damage to this because it sits higher than your handle so it risks getting hit from above and because it is a relatively, what's the word I'm looking for? A plastic that we likely to shear, I think, um, being this clear sort of perspex type plastic, it risks being damaged. So I won't be personally taking the white sticky tape off in case I do use it as a portable compressor. And that way I can take this off and store it and carry it separately. If you're not going to be transferring this around and moving it around, it's just going to stay in your own studio, your own home. By all means, I think, use the white tape, put it in place, and that way it's not going to get lost. But if you're taking it and using it as the portable compressor, I think the wise head wouldn't put that permanently in place just to stop risking it being damaged. So the Viz compressor, this is capable of kicking out a PSI between 0 and 50 PSI. The Arism is capable of kicking out to 30 I want to say 
and the Mini, which is the other one which I've got in the house and I've done the review on, has a pressure variance between 0 and 28 PSI. So of the three, this is the one that's absolutely able to kick out the most air pressure. So what that actually means for us, the user, is air flow out the end of our airbrush. Which means the Viz has got the highest air flow out the end of the airbrush at 16 to 18 litres per minute roughly. Anywhere between 16 and 18 litres per minute. The mid-range one, which is the Arism, without any other title, that has a uh, flow rate of 13 to 15 and the small one, the one I've already reviewed, it's got a flow rate of 12 to 14 so just less air pressure coming out the end of your nozzle or more air pressure depending on the compressor and this one, as we say, the Viz has the highest so before we go too far, let's have a look at our air regulator here on the actual or pressure regulator is the word I should use on our Silver Bullet Plus now, turn on our air compressor and we spray and if you can hear that's coming out at quite a high pressure that's coming out at that maximum leakage we just talked about at that PSI we just talked about however if I open up the valve here you can hear some air escaping that air escape here reduces the air flow here so effectively we can adjust the pressure coming out of our airbrush right up next to us. It's a similar feature you see on other airbrushes down here. I, I call it the MAC valve, I don't know if other people do, um, but it's your air regulation to allow micro adjustment at the airbrush side and that allows us to adjust the pressure that's coming out of the actual compressor. So, closed off, opened up and obviously I can keep opening that and opening that and opening that and there's almost zero pressure if I keep going I think I'm pretty much at the level now where I'm feeling that, that I won't get any paint flow out, pressure so low certainly half turn each time and I'm feeling the pressure going up until I'm back at the full pressure. So let's get some ink in this and let's give this a whack on and let's see how it goes. So just so we can see it in use, I'm using my Spar Max Max 4 brush and give an idea of how the compressor runs and the sort of airflow we're getting out of it. And the noise of it as well obviously. So really nice smooth deep feeling airflow, um, unlike some other compressors I've used, I'd probably say even a bit better than the Baby Arism, the Mini that I've used, the airflow certainly feels a lot smoother. Now let's try the pause and see what happens, do we get a sputter or not? Relatively even airflow as it can back on, slight sputter but not huge now if we open up the pressure valve we can hear the airflow coming out of the silver bullet plus and that's now reducing the air pressure that's coming out the end of the nozzle so if again I can adjust it and the air pressure is dropping way down for me. That there is something that I think will be very useful and add massively to the versatility of the compressor. Hopefully you're now picking that up on the camera. That's let me drop that air pressure right down, which as we can see would allow either the sort of pattern I'm getting at the minute or allowing the brush right in close if that's what we're looking to do. 
where I'll pump the pressure back right up and go in that close right away we can see the difference to the way the airflow and the paint comes out of the end of the airbrush it's not something I could really do fine detail with but by opening up the pressure dropping it right down just through the silver billet plus it allows us to get in a lot closer now obviously that's me opening up my airbrush trigger full if I don't go as wide on the airbrush trigger again it allows different levels of control now there is a bit of spurting happening more spurting I'd probably say happening when I've got the valve open so there's a balance of both worlds to be found and that will come through use that's just because the air pressure is bleeding out of two areas but overall this should give us an awful lot of control hopefully this really fine line that I'm putting down is getting picked up in the camera I can't see myself well enough let's zoom in and I'll show you what I've just achieved or just placed down there we go, that's picked up so, nice silent really quiet running compressor and we can get in get really fine lines should we want I'm going to have to pause now because a wasp flying round about me back shortly so just to try and give you a volume comparison of some different compressors first of all there's my RISM Mini and I can't find the own button a RISM Mini a RISM Viz so it's noticeably quieter and my main compressor my Awata Studio Series now it's a tanked one so I need to empty the tank first not on for long versus oh it was silly I touched turned that one off so I would say this is actually a little bit quieter than my studio series which I already think is an exceptionally quiet compressor and that's why I wanted to just do that comparison because this was quiet um, in comparison to the Chinese generic ones that I've had in the past but there's a bit of volume out of it studio series certainly quieter than this and to the ear this feels marginally quieter not much between the two but it still feels marginally quieter so I can't give you the decibels because the paraphernalia doesn't have it in it but what we'll do is we'll get the decibels of the other two and that will get us an idea of where this one's sitting So another feature you may be interested in is cable length um, It comes with a really nice long 3 meter power cable Power cable comes in two bits which breaks down here at the transformer Now something again that's interesting about this is It apparently takes less power drain than a comparable or many comparable compressors of this size This power rating um, So it's going to save you money on energy as well if you're using it a lot Which is something I like 
because I'm a little bit green minded myself so anything that's going to reduce our power usage when we get something in use I like the idea of but another really interesting feature of this is your power cable comes out here I don't own one um, I'm not sure whether I will pick up one or not at one point um, depends on whether we start looking to take this out and use it on the go but this compressor can be ran off battery packs um, Sparmax sell a battery pack and charger which will run this compressor nicely supposedly um, it's in their blurb so I've got no reason to doubt them everything else they seem to have told us about it seems to do the job nicely so yeah if you want you can convert this to run off a battery so if you want to take this out and do some nice Pokemon Go street art somewhere um, it's up to you it wasn't as it did it but there's some really cool Pokemon Go street art um, in Glasgow have a look for it and it wasn't us um, but maybe if you were so inspired you could do something similar or some Warhammer street art or some Dreadball Street Art or some Airfix Street Art or anything else you felt like but even if you're taking this to do cake decorating or something depends how you're going to be using it where you're using it but the battery itself is an interesting idea for taking this about so thought I'd point that one out to you whilst we're on lengths and things like that it's a nice braided hose and it's a 2 meter long hose so again something of use so you know roughly the space and distance and operating space that you're going to need to use this um, as I've been using it as well I've noticed to get that to operate correctly don't leave it deep into your table because if it's deep into the table it might not want to pull so it needs to be near your table edge so there's enough gravity to pull the hose down to turn the smart stop off let's find it on off switch Oh, I've unplugged it. Ha! Ah, because I've just showed you the plug. That was stupid. Anyway, take my word on that one. Uh, I'm blown! <laughs> my wife's over there. She's laughing at me now. Um, so, that's that bit. So, I promised I'll look at both of the silver bullets. Now, as we can see, size-wise, the silver bullet plus is marginally larger than the silver bullet itself but there's not much difference in the size there it's a wee bit longer it's a wee bit broader at the top the breadth at the top is almost not noticeable it really isn't visually it's very very difficult to see and it's a wee bit heavier so not much between them both of them operate the same way so you get your bleed valve at the bottom you just push up and that will allow any moisture that's accumulated over the usage to be drained out of it just the same operation on both of them big difference being the pressure adjusting valve on the plus nice that it comes with the viz and I think it's a requirement if you get a compressor that doesn't have any sort of rear regulator such as the Arism Mini Again, I use quick releases on all my airbrushes, so your quick release valve just screws into the top. I used it during the demonstration, don't know if anybody noticed it, but if you didn't notice it, I had a quick release valve just screwed into the top, and that way I can quickly connect and disconnect my airbrushes so I don't want to jump between airbrushes. So that just fits in there, it's a standard 1 8 fitment. I can't do that one handed, there we go. Standard 1 8 fitment. Cool. So, hopefully, that explores that part of it as well. Good enough for you. So, purely because these stats might be useful to someone out there if you're working on limited space. Length here 20 centimeters, width 12 centimeters. Now, it tells you height 18 centimeters, but that's to the top of the handle. It doesn't include the smart stop, which adds on about another centimetre and a half, so it's difficult to get the exact measurement, but that looks like 19 and a half, including the smart stop in place, 18 to the top of the handle. <coughs> now, if you are going to be taking this around and using it as a portable piece of equipment, weight-wise, it's two and a half kilograms, five and a half pounds. So, just from extra useful little bits of stats that someone out there might need. 
Um, otherwise, I'm not really sure if there's anything else that I can tell you about it. So, hopefully, review-wise, this has gave you some good information on the compressor if you're considering it or if you're looking for a new compressor. Um, or looking for a second compressor because you're looking to have something that'll do you something slightly different, such as the portability of this one. So, hopefully that's helped and all the best my friends. Take care.